cut to the ground and do some control techniques. Okay, suspect comes up to me. I'm going to get the inside dig on him with my arm. I also want to keep my hands up where I can block and try to punch at him. I come inside. This is just going to be a bear hug takedown. I want my head on the side of my face right on his chest. I'm going to get a nice grip here. I don't want a finger to finger grip. I like an overhand grip. I'm going to come in. I'm going to, I'm going to bend my knees down just a little bit. And I'm going to suck him up into my chest. And so he's bent over backwards. Then I'm going to hook my leg around his. I'm going to drag it out and take him down to the ground. Now, I want to let go of my arms just before I hit, in case we're on the pavement. I come in, I bend him backwards, I scoop the leg out from under him, and then when I, if I was just going to let him go, I throw him, let my hands down where I can plant him, and I don't crush my hands behind his right here, where he locks his legs around mine. So as I hit the ground and the mat, I kick this leg over, and I'm going to come into a nice side control with a cross face. All right, if you're doing this with a partner, you want to let him sit down. The partner should sit down instead of fall down. So he just squats and sits down. Okay. Come inside. Get to make sure you get the good bend on him. If I just try to try to push him backwards, he can just walk with me. So I want to hyperextend his back, drag his leg, take him down. I come right down on top of him. Bounce across for side control. And then we're going to go to the mouth from there. Catch me in the half guard right here where he locks his legs around mine. So as I hit the ground and the mat, I kick this leg over. And I'm going to come into a nice side control with a cross face. All right, if you're doing this with a partner, you want to let him sit down. The partner should sit down instead of fall down. So he just squats and sits down. Okay. Come inside. Get to make sure you get the good bend on him. If I just try to try to push him backwards, he can just walk with me. So I want to hyperextend his back, drag his leg, take him down. I come right down on top of him, bounce across for side control. And then we're going to go to the mouth from there. Side control here. Now what I want to do is, is I swim my cross face arm over and cup the back of his shoulder and his back right here. I want to be able to move my body weight with my chest, chest to chest on him and keeping my hips low. I don't want to get my body weight too high up or he might arch and be able to roll me off. Now, generally the guys lift their legs up to prevent them out. So I'm going to reach out. If he's got pants on, I'll grab the pants or I can just push with my hand. I want to push down at an angle and pin his knees down. I switch my hips, kick my leg over. I catch my Achilles tendon right on the top of his thigh to help squeeze me up. And over. Now I'm out. Now I can go for an arm bar. The thing that you don't want to do is to be here and be trying to get in a pushing match with him. So if he's bringing his knee up, all I have to do is stiff arm his leg right here. My hip is pinning this side of his body so he can't move, and I just stretch his leg. What I don't want to do is cowboy up and over try to mount because I don't have a very good control of his leg. So I want to make this a squeezing motion. So I pin the leg, kick this leg up, and now I squeeze. And I just squeeze myself right up on top and over to the mount position. Now if I decide I'm going to pin his head down to want to try to stiff arm you with their bench press you off. So what I want to do is, I don't want to fight this, I just want to lean right into his stiff arm. Then, whichever arm I'm going to attack, I circle it. 
I'm just going to circle it. I'm going to put my hands right on his chest like I were going to do compressions on him. So whichever arm I'm going to attack, if he puts both arms up, I have my pick. If he put the right or left arm, I have to attack whichever one he gives me. So he put both of them up, so I'm going to attack the right arm. I want to lean into his push. So if he's really trying to push me back off, I just lean up and over and anything. His arms, he can't hold me up. He doesn't have the strength to do it. Some guys might, but all they would do is just keep you right here, and then you're just going to do your compression. You're going to pop up and pivot around to go for the arm bar. Once I get here, I keep my feet squeezed down to the mat, knees squeezed together, and then I go for the arm bar right here. If he reaches up to fight it, don't fight getting in, a, in a, a, a tug of war match here. I could still win, but I want to sit up and just circle my arm around his wrist. The higher up towards his wrist I get, the more leverage I can generate to break his grip. If I try to grip down here towards the elbow, he can hold on all day. So what I want to do is just grab the wrist, get my arm up right at his wrist. Now, I just squeeze my knees, Keep the feet squeezed down. Now I just lean back, back, back until he breaks his grip. The hyperextension takes place right at his elbow. I pull his hand down to his chest and I arch my hips right up through his elbow. So right when he starts feeling pressure, he'll tap real quick. If he's holding his arm like this, you want to straighten. You have to grab his wrist and just corkscrewed around where his thumb is facing straight up and his elbow is right on your lower, lower abdomen. The mission we just did was when a guy gives you a stiff arm, straight up, you go for an arm bar attack. This time, he's playing a little better defense. He has his hands down and his elbows low where they're supposed to be. Well, right off the bat, I'm gonna attack this wrist. I'm gonna go for a traditional Americana key lock here. I want to grab his wrist with both of my hands and I don't want to have one hand low on his elbow, both hands are right at his wrist. Actually, the closest hand to his head here partially is on his hand and on his wrist. I'm going to put pressure down and I'm just going to lean my body weight right into his wrist to drive it to the ground. If he's giving me some resistance. I just give him a little shoulder bounce. When I bounce, I don't want to bounce and back off again because he can reset and, and play a lot better defense. So I keep the pressure on him. I just keep constant pressure, bounce, bounce. Once I get his wrist to the ground, both hands stay on the wrist. I drop my elbow right down to the mat. My elbow position needs to be right in the notch of his neck and his shoulder, right where they meet. The tighter, the better. Once I drop my elbow, I'm going to change my grip. On my left hand, I'm going to go to what we call a monkey grip. Thumb over. It's not a traditional chin-up grip. Thumb over. My other hand slides under his elbow, and I grab my wrist. Now what I do is, I don't want to leave my head stuck up looking at him because if he has an opportunity to, he can reach over, punch me, or poke me in the eye with his fingers. He grabs your hair, so what? You tuck your head down where he can't get you uh, in the eyes. Now I'm going to drag his hand down to our feet. And as I drag, I'm going to crank his elbow up until he taps. I'm going to break him down from his turtle position to take his back. What I want to do is I go to a traditional wrestling type control. I want my chin right in the middle of his back. If I have my chin too far over, he brings his elbow up, bam, right in the nose. Break your nose. Water the eyes, you can't see. So I'd like to try to keep my chin right in the middle of his back. My off hand just grabs right at his bicep and his elbow to break him down. If he tries to stretch up, I just break it down. Now, I'm going to have one hand right on his hip, my other two knees 
or blocking his leg, his foot, and his knee. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit back on my butt, and I'm not pulling him over straight to the side. I'm pulling him back at an angle. So I'm dragging his butt down to the ground. I am not dragging him over on the side, because if he decides to sprawl his knees, no, 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 he sprawls his knees out, it's hard for me to pull him over, period. So what I want to do is drag his butt right down to the ground. Now as I drag him, I start to underhook my arm on his bicep and his shoulder and just drag him right back to his back and I'm on my back. Now my feet. I like to keep my feet where I can come over and put my hooks on the inside. The only problem is I don't want to cross my feet. If I cross my feet, he crosses his foot over mine and I get caught in a wrist, I mean a, in an ankle lock. So what I want to make sure is if I do put my hooks in, I put my feet up high on the inside of his thigh. So now if he tries to do it, I keep pressure and he can't reach it. I can also put my feet under it. If he tries arching back on my back, I just kick his feet out from under him. And now I can come in and go for a submission right here. Come over here, Ted, please. Take that. So dirty. The other control. I'm here. He's arching back. I kick his feet out from under him. I can just get a good cross body chest control right here. So I can just hang on to him for a while. The only thing I want to watch out for is that he doesn't try to reach back and just punch me while I'm just holding on to him. So ideally, you're going to start putting pressure on with the, the choke. You can still choke him with one hand. I can put my hand behind my head and choke, trapping one of the arms right here. So I can choke him out right here. And the way to do that is just put your hand behind your head and squeeze your bicep right up around his neck and put the pressure with your head right down on the back of his. Okay, now, this is the position of the guard where I want to pass the guard. I want to make sure that I'm up on top of my toes. I don't want to be on the back of my feet sitting like this because it'd be easy for him to sit up and reverse me. So I want to be up on my toes. I want my back straight and my head up. I don't want to be down here resting if I am. Both hands on the biceps. No hands on the mats. Both hands on the biceps. Now, I'm going to raise up and put my knee right in the middle of his butt. As I do that, I start to slide my off leg back, and I slide it back at an angle. Now I'm going to move my hands towards the center of his body and start walking back. And as I do that, I'm doing a cat stretch. Stretch my back straight up, and what helps me keep my back straight and, and arching up as I look up, just like you're going to do a squat. I start backing up, backing up until one hand is on his hip so he can't follow me around with his movement. If I don't have my hands on his hip, he can raise his hips up and keep me at bay here. So I want to keep the pressure on his hips. Now once I have the pressure on his hip, I'm going to escape with this hand because this is the opposite leg, is the one that slid back. I'm going to bring my elbow up. And now, at the same time, I'm going to put pressure on, my, on his knee with my elbow straight down to the mat, and I'm also going to twist my hip. And as I twist my hip, it breaks his foot grip. So here, let me, let me see something. So I backed out here, and as I put the pressure down on his leg, I rotate my hips, which causes pressure on the inside of his knees where he can't keep his grip. So, both hands in the bicep, knee right in the middle of the butt, start to slide the opposite leg back in an angle. Hands to the center of the body, start walking yourself back with a straight back. Looking up, I keep the pressure on his hip, elbow in, now I'm going to twist my hips and put the pressure down. Once I get that pressure down, I'm going to keep the pressure right here 
on his, his knee. Now I'm just going to step my off leg right over. My foot stays over his thigh, so I trap his leg. Now I'm going to fall down on top of me with a cross face. It doesn't matter. He might try to bring his arm up or over, whatever. I like to get this right here, just a typical cross face like we had in the side control while ago. Now, my leg that's in his half guard, I want to cross my shin over his shin. So he can't pull me into the half guard. Then I arch my butt up and drag that other leg off. And then the other one follows too. Right into a good side control with a cross face. Okay, it's the same setup for this next guard pass. Hands on the bicep, knee, right in the middle of the butt. Slide the leg back, hands in the center of the body, start pushing back, pushing back. I, I trap the hip, elbow inside, bust the legs apart. This time, I can't keep his leg down, he, he pulls it back up. One thing I don't want to do, I don't want to let him pull me back into the guard, so I keep my elbows coiled inside. If I, if I stretch out, he pulls me right back in. So, once I get in between his legs and I break his guard, my elbows come in. I'm going to swim my hands straight under. I put my hands together like I'm praying and I dive my hands straight down to the mat here. Then I'm going to reach and grab the top of his thighs 